Okay. What's up, you guys? This is Max. I'm here with Monkey with Jenny's Horse Product Review.com. Today we're reviewing the Renegade Viper. I've been using this for about two and a half years, and I've had a lot of good luck with it so far. Uh, pretty basic. If you look, the front part just fits right on their hoof, and then the back part just goes right around uh, the bulbs in the back there, and I'll show you how to put it on. So what I always do is just prep it by putting it back like that. What you want to do is get the hoof nice and picked out, make sure there's no uh, rocks or debris in there. And then it's real easy. You just slide it on like that. Easy, bro. <laughs> and then let them step down. And then, <clears throat> as far as the fit, doesn't have to be super tight. What you want is just kind of firm contact there. You can see I didn't ratchet it down at all. Just put this part over there. And for the top strap, same thing. Don't need a lot of pressure. I always leave two fingers there. Just strap it down. Boom, just like that. In 15 seconds, you've got a protected hoof and you're ready to roll. So once again, I'm gonna prep it by putting it back like that. I'll always brush out any extra dirt that's in there. I'm gonna lift up her foot, take it out. You can see she's got a little bit of stuff in here, but they've got really strong, great hooves living in Idaho. Real simple, I'm just gonna slide the front part on. I always line up this groove with this groove. Just put the bulb over and then let her step down. Good girl. And then you don't want it, don't need to make it super tight. You just pull it to where it's firm. Tuck this in there. You can see she's got some play there. I never have any issues with the front one. We can canter, even gallop, and these ones don't come off. I have definitely thrown some back ones at the riders behind me when you get into a good canter or gallop, but never seem to lose the front ones. And most of the time, I'll just wear the front ones and the back ones uh, don't seem to take as much weight and damage. So. Uh, today we're just going to ride just like this with two, and off we go. So, would you recommend these boots to a friend? I would definitely recommend these to a friend. Uh, you saw how quickly I get them on, and I told you that they stay on all day with no issue. So, um, I would recommend them. I'd recommend anybody go barefoot. I think it's just more natural for the hoof. Gives you a healthier horse and then in situations where you need extra protection throw these on it's a nice easy fix and they look cool in sneakers is there anything that you don't like about them or that you struggle with um what can be challenging about these is after maybe two years of hardware you have to replace the cables uh, i can show you um, some cables here in a second where they just become frayed and sometimes that's how they break too and it just takes probably 20 minutes to fix them is the only thing that I don't like but honestly that's a pretty small price to pay to have protected hooves on all types of trail with a barefoot horse okay so this is the original Renegade and I was just going to show you what some damage that's typical happens and I will say I've never seen this type of damage on the Vipers. I've been running these ones for two and a half years with no issues whatsoever. Uh, but on the old Renegades, what you would see once in a while 
I think mainly because they've got more action and more play. And when they're on there, there's a little bit more distance where it's just the cables, whereas the Viper seem to be a little bit closer. But if you zoom in there, you can see right here that cable starts to fray. So that's the issue that you get. And if you break these, <coughs> I've seen uh, just a number of issues where they break. Never where the horse gets injured, but I've seen them wrapped up on a horse's ankle like this at the end of a good run or where you just lose them entirely. So one of the things that you get used to doing with these is leaning over and checking your own horse's boots. And if you're riding with a partner that has these on after every muddy spot, every creek, hey, do I still have four boots? Yeah, you've got four boots, how about me? So that just becomes a part of your cross check, but um, that's really the only issue that you can have with them. All right, guys, I hope you liked this review. If you did, subscribe to Ginny's Horse Product Review.com and happy trails.